Overall, it's, it's lightweight, but it actually feels better made than Nikon's kit lenses, so good job on that. It goes from 28, what, 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 <laughs> just like that. What's up, everybody? I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade and Z Wade Photo, coming at you from the home studio of Z Wade Photo LLC. And today, I want to do a kind of a follow up unboxing of the Sony a7C because I do have the kit lens that comes with it, which is this uh, 28 to 60 f4 5.6. Now, I already know I'm not going to be keeping this because I hate variable aperture lenses. They're a great place to start. Generally, kit lenses are very sharp and they, they have to be because somebody who's new to photography that gets a kit lens, it needs to be good. Otherwise, they're going to look at it and be like, oh, uh, this camera sucks, right? Not the lens. They're, they're going to be like, this camera sucks, right? Because they, they don't know any better. And so I imagine this is going to be good and we're going to give it a test in future videos. But for now, I just wanted to complete the unboxing because this was included with the A7C. And so the first thing we're going to look at, if you're new to the channel, is the lens cap. Lens caps generally aren't that good and they pop off easy. And that is the case with this particular 28 to 60. The lens cap absolutely sucks. It's very easy to pop. Well, it's medium easy to pop off. But because it is recessed, it's not going to pop off on your jeans. And so we will forgive the kind of flimsy nature of it. That's the biggest issue is if it will pop off on your jeans then you have to be really careful and you're probably better off getting a third party um, lens cap to replace with. Something I like about this lens already, even though I'm not keeping it, is the fact that it, it is a kit lens, yet there's external metal. The closest thing to this would be the Nikon, I wanna say it's like a 25 to 60 or, or something like that. And it's the kit lens for like the Z6 II or something like that. Um, it is a full frame and it's just totally plastic and it feels like absolute crap. The performance of, of that Nikon is decent, but um, it, it feels like absolute crap. Plastic mount, a junk. This actually has a metal mount. And so that is to be appreciated. If I could figure out how to get this damn thing to, to lock on. This rear lens cap is kind of cornball. I don't like that, the snapping... You don't really know. It feels like it's just eating into the plastic. Anyway, moving on. We got this little uh, focus ring here. This is probably a focus by wire lens, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's got this like collapsing feature, which you see also in some other Nikon and Canon lenses. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but it does store easily. It goes from 28, what, 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 <laughs> just like that. We're used to seeing this kind of thing in kit lenses. Overall, it's it's lightweight, but it actually feels better made than Nikon's kit lenses. So good job on that, uh, Sony. Um, we'll have to see in another video just how good or bad this lens is. This lens generally is not very well liked amongst Sony users, but I have a feeling it's probably perfectly serviceable and you're either too bougie or you're just not good at photography. That's a joke. I like fine lenses too. I think it's gonna be just like every other kit lens. It's probably gonna have good color, a decent amount of contrast, decent amount of sharpness, but not wickedly sharp. We'll just have to find out in the next video. For now, Sony, I think the construction of this is good job on that. Um, most, most of the other brands aren't gonna give you something with external metal on a kit lens. So I appreciate that. I'm not real interested in this lens and that's why this video is short. I've already said it's going back because I don't like variable aperture lenses, but in the comments below, let me know if you have the 28 to 60 F4 5.6 lens and what you think of it. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade and Z-Wade Photo, and we'll talk soon.